I would like to help us understand again what is in the first place, why we need to be worried about osteoporosis. So if I were to use this simple bone model, I show it to my patients, invariably everyone wants to have the normal bone here rather than this weak bone here, osteoporosis, with a higher risk of having fractures. And this condition is quite common for those above the age of 50, one in three women may have osteoporosis, women may experience osteoporosis fractures in their lifetime and for men, one in five above the age of 50 may experience this osteoporosis fracture. So this is a very serious condition. Now you will say, ah, isn't this got to do with being old? In some ways, you're correct. Someone in their 70s and 80s are more likely to have more fragile bones compared to someone in their 20s or in their 30s. But you have to be mindful there are certain conditions that could hasten the weakening of the bones. So that's where we come into this condition called secondary osteoporosis. The difficulty with secondary osteoporosis is that there are many, many different conditions, 100 different conditions that can lead to the worsening of the bones. But perhaps I will talk about some of the more common risk factors, uh, common conditions that people should be aware of that should be screened earlier in patients with osteoporosis. Some of them that we may need to emphasize would be certain uh, habits like smoking cigarettes, like drinking excessive amount of alcohol, simple things that can be reversed by the patients by stopping the smoking habit, by moderating alcohol excess would go a long way to improving the bone health. How about medical conditions? Well, as an endocrinologist, I always like to talk about things that are hormonal, imbalance in the hormones that can lead to worsening of the bones. One of them we will talk about would be the thyroid condition. And you say, oh, wait a minute, thyroid condition, you mean that this thing in the front of the neck? Yes, the thyroid condition. If a patient has what we call hyperthyroidism, okay, that is when the thyroid is overactive, and people say, oh wait, I remember what people tell me. You mean when the heart beats very fast, having the tremor, losing weight excessively? Yes, but one of the things that they may not realize it, it can also affect the bone, that the bone loses calcium at a much faster rate than someone whose thyroid is working normally. So that is one of those situations of secondary osteoporosis where the treatment is to treat the thyroid and not just to give a simple bone medication. Okay? Are there other examples? Yes. How about a close cousin to the thyroid, something called the parathyroid? You say, oh, wait a minute. You're telling me yet another different concept. Okay. So the parathyroid are four little glands next to the thyroid, also in the, in the neck area and its important role in human body is to regulate our blood calcium level in the normal range. The blood calcium, not the bone calcium, but the blood calcium level in the normal range so that our heart beats normally, our muscle can contract effectively. In some patients, their parathyroid glands are overactive. The medical term for it is primary hyperparathyroidism, such a mouthful. Basically, the parathyroid is overactive and the blood calcium level is high and it leaches calcium from the bone, increasing the risk of having osteoporosis. Again, if we identify this condition early, we can treat it, we have good treatment options for it. We could remove the hyperactive parathyroid gland and restore the bone to normal. So that's something that we need to be aware of.